Hello and welcome to part 2 of our Website Builder Yoga website tutorial. In part 1 we walked you through how to build a one page yoga website with our drag and drop website builder in less than 15 minutes. In this video we'll walk you through building the online shop and doing the basic SEO for it. Add a shop page. To add a new shop page go to settings in the top right corner and select pages from the drop down menu. Then click new page. Change the name field to shop and copy the layout from home. Make sure to check the clear body contents box. Click apply. Then click apply again. Now let's add it to the navigation menu. Click on the nav menu and select edit menu. Let's replace services with shop by clicking on it changing the name and switching the page to shop and move it to last in the nav menu. Click apply to save. In the top left corner, hover over the page drop down menu to switch pages. Click on shop. On the new page, drag and drop the text element to give the page a heading. Click on the layout and in the spacing section in the right hand panel, Add padding to create some space around it. Let's add the commerce composition by dragging it from the main toolbar. Add some margins to the text. Now let's remove the email in the corner and replace it with the cart. Right click the layout and select remove. Drag and drop the commerce element from the toolbar again and select shopping cart. To stay up to date with your store, you can set up notifications. In the right hand panel, click the pen icon next to the contact form slash notifications. Go to the email settings tab and enter your emails for the send to and send from fields. We can customize the shopping cart's nav menu name in the text field. Let's call it cart. Right below it in settings, we can change the currency. Let's use the euro. And lastly, let's make the cart icon appear white in the nav menu. Go to style, click on the pen, and then click on the pen again next to color. Okay, let's save the website as a draft. Now let's add the products offered in our store. I've gone ahead and removed some items. Let me show you how. Click on the store element and select edit products. Now all that's left to do is click on the X icon next to the item you wish to remove and confirm your choice. All right, time to add our own products in the detail section. Set the item name, price, and discount. Now click the pen icon next to the image. Remove the existing one, click add new, and then add new again. Select the images you want to upload, click apply and apply one more time. Click on the pen icon to add the item type. Click add item and enter the product's name. Click add option and click on the pen under type. In the new window, click add item and set the item name, type and options. Once you're done, click apply and select the type you just created from the type dropdown. Name it and click apply to save the type and apply again to save the product. Now we have our first product listed in our shop. Now let's add a product that comes in different colors. Return to the list of items in the left hand section, select an untitled item and enter the product name. Repeat the same procedure as last time. Add an image. Enter the product name and add options. After adding the option name, choose color buttons from the dropdown. Now, click add option twice to add two colors, black and white. Use the pen to set the color. Set the type to color, name it, and click apply. Under item type, select the item you just created from the drop down. Next, click on edit variants to set the individual pricing and discounts for the variants. Click apply to save the second product. Great, let's add the last product with action buttons. 
The process for the most part is the same. We update the product name, upload a picture, create a new product type. Now we can figure out the field type and make sure that the type is set to buttons. We will have three buttons with each representing a different bundle of yoga classes. For this type, choose classes. Now click edit variants to set pricing for each class bundle. And we're done. We have three products listed in our shop in just a few minutes. Let's preview the page to make sure everything looks great. Just note that each time you preview the page, your progress gets saved as a draft automatically. Okay, everything looks great. Add destination zones, shipping, taxes and coupons. Let's start with destination zones by clicking on your product section and selecting destination zones in the right hand panel. Click add item, select applicable countries and name it. Now the tax rules. Name the tax rule in a way that will be helpful if you set up multiple tax rules. Set destination zone to the one you just created and set its tax rate. You can also select if it applies to products, specific item types and shipping. Let's configure our shipping methods. Click add item, enter the method name and select the destination zone you created. For the shipping type, let's go with subtotal. Click add range to set up a specific range. Let's make it 0 to 29.98 for paid shipping. And anything above that will be free. You can also provide the estimated delivery time by setting up the range below. And finally, the coupons. Click add item to add a new coupon. Here you can enter the coupon code. Select if it applies to all item types or only to specific ones. Select the discount type, the value of the code and how long it is valid for. Also, you can check if it applies to discounted products. Okay, let's test the checkout process using the preview button. The shipping method is applied with an estimated delivery time, shipping is free, the coupon is applied and the tax is calculated. Stock management can be managed in our website builder. To enable it, go to settings in the right hand panel, under stock, check the box use stock info to control sales. We can also choose to show stock amount and enable low stock notifications here. You can enter a specific quantity here and when the product reaches that quantity, you will be notified via email. Now we need to assign SKUs to our products by clicking edit products. For products that have variation, the SKU and stock are managed in the variance tab. Over here, we can enter an SKU for each product and here we can enter the available quantity. Keep in mind that each SKU must be unique. Now let's repeat this for another product with variance. For regular products, SKU and quantity are entered on the right hand side of the product listing. Now let's click apply to save. Let's make sure that the stock and SKUs are displaying correctly. Fantastic. Invoices and payment gateways. Let's begin with invoices. Enter your invoice details in this field the way it is in this example. You can add text at the beginning and the end of the invoice. You can also add a title to be displayed at the top of the invoice. You can upload an invoice logo by clicking the pen icon. The last setting worth mentioning is the number length. This will limit the length of your invoice numbers. Let's set it to 4 and move on to payment gateways. We can see that PayPal is enabled by default. Let's enter our PayPal email and move on to the two other methods. Let's enable cash on delivery. The third method we'll enable is bank transfer. 
customers will receive the invoice we set up earlier to make their payments. As you can see, we support so many payment gateways. Let's save the website as a draft. Add categories, launch shop and test order. First, let's add product categories. Go to edit products and click on the pen icon in the category section. Click new item and add a category name. Let's add the second category. Now we need to link products to specific categories by checking the box on the right. Second, include tax in product prices. In the price section, check the box show prices with tax included. Under listing, we can enable a few more functions. Show add to cart button, show buy now button, and show discount label. Let's do a quick screen check to test the responsiveness. Looks great. Now we can publish our online shop. Let's see how the filtering works on the live website. Perfect. Time to place an order. Let's click the buy now button on the yoga mat. Click checkout and enter billing information. Here's the page to review our order before payment. Now we choose our payment option and our order has been placed. We can download the invoice and pay using the details from it. Search engine optimization or SEO. Let's begin by uploading our favicon. Go to settings, favicon, and click on the pencil icon to upload your logo icon. This will appear on the browser tabs, bookmarks, and search results. Next, let's go to settings, then pages, then click on the SEO tab. Here we can edit the page title. Below it, we can add an SEO friendly page description. We can even add keywords, which also helps with SEO. On the left hand side, we can upload an image that will appear in our link previews on social media platforms and chats. At the bottom here, you can see a helpful preview of what it'll look like in search results, browsers and on social networks. Okay, let's publish the website to make the changes go live. And just like that, we have a functional online shop in no time at all. This concludes our website builder yoga website tutorial series. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this valuable and we'll catch you in the next video.